When a nasty flu struck California's Atascadero State Hospital, Dr. John Connell made an interesting discovery. I know my patients were exposed to influenza, but none of them got sick. Why? One reason could be that 30 of Connell's patients had been given vitamin D on a regular basis. Heart disease and hypertension and stroke and cancer are the same diseases that have been associated with vitamin D deficiencies. Medical writer Bill Sardi says if vitamin D were a drug, its benefits would make it the most popular ever. Because we're talking about diabetes and hypertension and bone diseases, osteoporosis and arteriosclerosis and cancer and autoimmune disease and it, the list goes on. Scientists found that list is so long because vitamin D actually regulates cells, systems, and organs throughout the body. A major question and area of controversy regarding vitamin D is sun exposure so health investigators hit the trail looking for answers. Doctors have observed that where there's less sun, there's more cancer, flu, and even autism. For instance, there's more of these diseases in winter, which has less sunlight. And there's also more of these diseases the further you get away from the equator, because there's less sunlight the further you get away from there. But wait a minute, won't this possibly lead to skin cancer? Most sunscreen companies provide products that block the ultraviolet B, or UVB, from the sun. Those are the very rays you need to produce vitamin D in the skin. Now they admit the UVA rays that the sunblock lotions allow to get in are the ones causing the cancer. So they let the one that causes skin cancer in and they block the one that prevents it. Statistics show skin cancer rates and deaths have actually risen since the sunscreen campaigns began 30 years ago. Heart disease and hypertension and stroke and cancer are the same diseases that have been associated with vitamin D deficiencies. Vitamin D activates your immune system causes something to be formed called little peptides that kill bacteria and viruses without antibiotic resistance, without side effects. We can use it in very young infants and pregnant moms. There's just clear evidence, especially in the German literature, of uh, choice reaction time, uh, balance, uh, muscle strength, uh, endurance, all improve with vitamin D. And cancer? Sardi says in a new book that a major reason not to be so fearful about the disease is vitamin D. People with the highest levels had had four times less colon cancer than the people with the lowest levels. I think that's pretty important. The Lord is saying that there's a system that makes this much vitamin D this quickly, thousands of units a day from sun exposure. And here's a government over here saying you only need a couple of hundred units a day. So you can sort of ask yourself, who do you want to believe? 